Hi, my name is Anita Foster and I'm the Media Specialist at Autry and I want to talk to you just a few minutes about some of the cool books that we have this year in the book fair. One of my favorite books that I've read this, this summer was Silo. Silo is kind of dystopian, but you know what? I can really see it happening, kind of, sort of. Um, it, ha it has an island um, that the, the people live on and there's this drug going around called Ruby and the people that take it they get a lot of extra energy, and when they go to spend that energy, then you know what? They die. So these three kids are trying to figure out what's going on and the military invade and block anyone from leaving the island. So they tr they're trying to figure out what's going on and to help solve the mystery of why is everyone dying and why is everybody taking this pill and what is really going on. So it is a really cool series. There's actually three books in the series. I've read all three of them. It is amazing. But we have this one on, on sale this week. Um, Silo is the first book in the series. And it's also one of our Helen Ruffin books this year. So it is a really good book. Another one of our Helen Ruffin books that I've read recently that I absolutely loved was Mark of the Dragonfly. Mark of the Dragonfly, this girl shows up and she has this tattoo of a dragonfly, obviously. And um, that's the protection that the king has given. Anybody who's marked with the dragonfly has king's protection. But why is she suddenly in a scrap town where the uh, asteroids hit and bring things in from other worlds? Mm. It's really good. And the girl who tries to help her and help solve the problem, uh, solve the mystery. Wow. This one, life changing, life changing. We all know about the atrocities of uh, World War II and uh, the Jewish people. This book, Prisoner B3087, life-changing I'm not kidding as an adult it was life-changing um, it is about this man a true story he survived 10 concentration camps and two death marches it is amazing is that amazing appropriate read. for teens to read too it is appropriate for teens to read it is also one of our Helen Ruffin books this year it is fantastic okay um we're out of the one book that uh, has been really popular I've got to see if I can get some more in um, oh, but you know what? I don't because tomorrow we're ending, but you know what? On the school's website, if you click on the link for the book fair that I posted the other day or on the Media Center website, there's a link there as well. You can go and order your books online and then they're delivered here to the school. So any book that we're out of, like A Night Divided, where the girl is on one side of the, the wall that goes up in Germany and her father and brother who's on the other side of the wall and in one night they're divided. Amazing book. We had probably 15 copies and they're all sold out. Wow. This one, anyone who is a Stan Lee fan will love it. Stan Lee is the author. Yes, the same Stan Lee that did all of the comic books. Um, it is based around the Chinese Zodiac and these 12 powers that suddenly these people get. Ooh. Awesome book. Wow. Um, I've heard this one's good. It's on my, my long, very long to read list. But a Jewish soldier in Hitler's army unlikely warrior hmm. fantastic especially with those that are doing world war ii books wow then we have our chiclet here all of the books that the, the girls are liking to read um awesome books um but i'm gonna go to this one we only have a few of these left and we just got 15 in last night this is magnus chase it is the brand new rick warden series it is the first book in the series and it is about norse mythology so if you've read all of the other Rick Warden books and you're like, oh, I heard he had a new one out, yes, this is it. It is $20. It makes an excellent Christmas present for a Rick Warden fan. Or any type of present. Or any type of present. Exactly. You don't have to wait until Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is our fairy tale section because you know what? We had seventh grade just finish a fairy tale unit. They're in the process of finishing it. Um, Ferris is here. Ferris is actually the pre-book. I hate it when they do that. But it's the fourth book in the series, but it goes back and tells the pre-story to Levana, who is the Lunar Queen, Ooh. and tells why she is so mean and evil and stuff like that. Ooh. I'm actually in the process of reading it now. Yes. Um, a one that I just finished that I absolutely loved. Anyone who loves magic will love this, and you'll also notice the names of the authors. Holly Black, she was one of the authors in the... My son read this series, the entire series, and now the name is escaping me. It anyone? starts with an S. Anyone? Bueller, anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Holly Black. Bueller. Oh, 
shoot. And he liked it. He loved it. Uh, short little books. He read it in elementary school. Spiderwick Chronicles, oh, that's it. Spiderwick Chronicles. It, Holly yeah. Black is one of the authors of that series. And Cassandra Clare is the author of the City of Bone series. Yes. City of Bone is the very first book. Um, they've teamed up together to write this series. I'm actually almost finished with book two now. Ooh. Loving it. Um, it's really good. It's about this boy who was um, hurt as a child. He walks with a limp because of it, a very bad limp. Um, but his dad never told him that his dad and his mother both were mages and magicians. Oh. And his mom was killed during the Cold War. Um, the, the, the Cold Massacre is what they call mm -hmm. it. And um, were a bunch of um, mothers, young children, um, older people were all killed by the evil one. Ooh. But um, bum, bum, he bum. has a secret Ooh. that he finds out the, his first year at school. And so this is about him and his friends who he meets when he goes through the Iron Trial. Ooh. It is really good. Um, let's see what else we have. Of course, we have our dystopian series. It's always going to be popular with middle school. Um, no oh, real, lots of stuff sold out, huh? A lots Very of stuff good. sold out Getting selection. More in for tomorrow. I tell people that if you like The Bachelor. This is The Bachelor on steroids. <laughs> so uh, it's a really good series. I, as an adult, enjoyed it, and I don't like The Bachelor. So mm. one is the first book. Elite is the second book. Uh, one is the third book. And then this year they came out with Air. And Air is their daughter. Mm. So it, it tells the story of the mother and father meeting and falling in love and everything. And Air is their daughter going through the same selection process. Um, what about some of the, um, instead of novels, maybe some of the, for kids who, it's hard to get them to read an actual novel, what would you recommend? For somebody that they don't want to sit down and read a book, um, we have graphic novels. A lot of students like graphic novels. Yes. Um, we have the newest book in the Amulet series. Uh, that is for sale. We also have Throne of Fire. And this Ooh. graphic novels is my way. They're basically cartoon books. Oh, yes. And we have a lot of classics in our graphic novel section. Mm -hmm. And I try to bridge over. Well, you've read the graphic novel. Now let's try the, the book uh. with text and let's see how you feel about that. But I always, the first question I ask any reluctant reader is, what do you like to watch on TV? Because if I find out what they like to watch on TV, then I can typically find a book that they would enjoy reading also. Oh, very okay? Good. Yes. But graphic novels are very popular. And awesome. you can also see, like, this one is Legend. It's a dystopian story. Yes. And we have Legend mm -hmm. and this graphic novel here. So I try to get the students to do, we'll read one and then read the other. Yes. So you can see the, the difference. Um, James Patterson has a new book public school superhero. <laughs> of course, I love James Patterson. Funny. He is the person that wrote the middle school worst years of my life. Yes, good funny humor. Good funny humor. A lot of boys also enjoy our gaming books. Oh, yes. So the Minecraft, How To's, Game On, Guinness World Book of Records, Gamers Edition, Skyland Universe, stuff like that. Our boys who like to game that's a good way of getting them into a book because they want to learn those cheat codes. Here's the section that I tend to stay away from because mm -hmm. I don't read scary stories. I just don't like them, but our students do. But um, Miss uh, Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children came out a few years ago. And then last year, Hollow City came out. And this year, Library of Souls. Very good. Okay. Miss Mary is my expert on the horror books because she likes them. I just, I don't like scary stories. So. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I will have books like this. Oh, yes. In my cart. Well, probably not this one because this is science experiments. I would do more of the Atlas one. Was the good. Atlas one, which I think mom's took it today yes, because, because I was, it was talking about idea. it. But I would take an Atlas book. And I will say, you know what? Leave it in the car. Yes. 
And when we cross a border into a new state, my son, who's sitting in the car with me, I'll go, okay, open it up to this state and let's read all the information about the state. Excellent way to learn. I also have the other one that he likes that we don't have this time, but we have had in the past and you can get it from the website, is uh, would you rather? Oh, yes. Would you rather do this or do this? Would you rather be covered in honey and let ants bite you? Or would you rather uh, turn into a marshmallow and be held over a flame? Hmm. You know, stuff like that. I'm going with so, the ants. Yeah, I, I would probably go with the ants too. I don't but, know. Um, this book right here, Mr. Um, James would like for every student that's in the Young Men of Autry group to read it because it talks about a mentor, a student who gets in trouble, and the mentor who helps him. Okay? We have other, other cool books that you can come in and check out. We will be open until Friday. One o'clock is when we close. Um, we also have our what we call our tchotchkes. And mm. I love our tchotchkes because I will buy them and I'll put them in the thing that I hang by the fireplace. In December? At, at holidays mm -hmm. in December. And um, half of them is a special treat for my son. Or maybe I'll have a basket where he can go and get nice things, little surprises every once in a while. I'll go to the basket and pull something out. He's done something good and he's got a little treat and it really didn't cost me more than two or three dollars. And, um, and I'll even have less. them. Some of it's even less. Some of it's even less. We have some for 99 cents, a dollar, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's, uh, I understand he loves too, there's Twizzlers. even books here that are a dollar. Oh my goodness, we value. haven't even shown you those. Yeah, so you gotta, just, you gotta just come in. You gotta see, you gotta come in and see all this cool stuff. This whole cart, front and back, is full of our deals. One and one of the dollars. deals on here, 79 cents. You can't beat that. 79, 79 cents, cents, you really can't book. beat that. And then a lot of our teachers have come in and filled out a wish list. And so you can buy a book and make a difference in your child's classroom. Mm -hmm. That's okay? awesome. So you're so here to win? We're here all week until 5.30. Yep. And Friday, we are open from 8.30 to 1. We close at 1 and we pack up. Excellent. So if you could come in before 1 o'clock, but if you don't get a chance to, go to the website yeah. and order from the website. There's a link on the Autry website and on the CLC's website, autrylearningcenter.com. There's a link on there and you can go and place your order online. It's shipped to me and then I take it to your student in homeroom. If it's a gift, make sure you come or email me and say, don't take that to my student because it's a gift. I do have one other thing I want to show you and it is a, a kind of a gift because it is kind of expensive. If you have a oh, Harry Potter fan yes. in your family, yes. a Harry Potter fan, you're going to want to get this book. Definitely. It is $40. Beautiful. Yes, it is expensive, but it is absolutely gorgeous with all of the drawings yes. in it. Photos are beautiful. It is beautiful. the very first book of the Harry Potter series. It is the Sorcerer's Stone, but it is illustrated. It's a hardback. But too. it is it's for beautiful. It is for any Harry Potter fan you will want to have this book That's in their collection. Forever. It is a keepsake. Okay? So, Audrey parents, come to the CLC and check us out. Yay, and portion of the proceeds go directly back to the school. Is that right? That is correct. We will get 25% um, of every dollar made to buy more books for the CLC. Yay, so come support the school, everyone, and have a great day. Signing off with Mrs. Foster from the CLC at Audrey Middle School. Thanks, Mrs. Foster.